for a long time, US and Europe is enjoying the monopoly over the commercial airliner market by its Boeing and Airbus. And now, China is entering it by its C919 largest passenger aircraft. Boeing and China have an enduring partnership for more than 45 years now. It is to be noted that around 50% of commercial aircraft that flies in China are Boeing's. On the other side, more than 10,000 commercial aircraft that flies around the world by Boeing's are using the Chinese components and assemblies. Due to the restrictions imposed by the Trump administration in 2020, it restricted the shipment of the flight controls and jet engines which is crucial for the development of C919. As well as, it relied on the special licenses to receive from the General Electric and Honeywell to get the parts it needed for the C919 development. Let us see how China achieved it to become the third most significant force in the global aircraft industry. In 2008, China has set up its commercial aircraft corporation, shortly called as COMAC. It developed the wide body aircraft. The development of the aircraft is supported by 200 enterprises and 36 universities in China. The project is a part of the dream of China's rise to become a powerful country. It is to be noted that after 14 years of the commercial aircraft of China's program launch, C919 has obtained its type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. It includes obtaining the Airworthiness certificate on August 1, 2022 after 5 years of its test flight. Since the Airworthiness standards of the Europe and US has become the de facto access to the international civil aviation industry, COMAC has submitted the C919 application to European Civil Aviation Safety Agency and obtained the Airworthiness certification. Interestingly, C919 is a two-engine jet powered by CFM Leap 1C engine which is manufactured by the General Electric and Safran of France. The maximum capacity of the C919 jet ranges from 158 to 168 passengers based on the configuration. Comparing the cost of Boeing and Airbus, which ranges from 106 to 111 million US dollar as per its type, C919 costs for 91 million US dollar. Till now, it received 815 orders from 28 aviation industries worldwide, which includes Chinese and non Chinese companies. While viewing the exhibition of the achievements of the C919 and meeting the project team, President Xi Jinping said that China's large aircraft fly in the blue sky carries the national will and people's expectation. It is adverse to put the safety first approach, put quality first, be consistent, start well and end well and make more breakthroughs in China's high-end equipment manufacturing. Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China is focusing to produce C919 indigenously. It is also targeting to become more advanced and self-reliant aircraft manufacturing industry in the world. By successfully receiving the type certification for C919, China has become the third most significant force in the global aircraft industry. And finally, leave your thoughts and comments about the progressive achievement of C919 and consider subscribing to the channel for more China news analysis daily. That is all for today. This is Vidyapati Purushottaman broadcasting from China.